Welcome to Shower to Chaos. In the previous tutorial, we learned how to display a particular message using the C out, right? So we displayed a message like C out, the cascading operators, or the less than less than sign. In the quotation marks, we insert our message and we finish it with the semicolon. But today, we're going to learn how to modify that statement, how to modify that message. Let's say we have got two C out simultaneously, right? Let's say another message is called as waiter. So we have got two messages, Yoda and Vader. But if we run the program, as you can plainly see, it prints Yoda and Vader with, without any spaces, without any, let's say, division between them. It's all together. It's one word. In many cases, we don't want that, right? So there are some modifications that you can do using these backslash operators. There's one called the backslash n. Okay, so you just insert this backslash n inside these quotation marks. It can be in any C out message. Okay, so basically insert it anywhere in the quotation marks. And if you run the program, you will see that it changes the line. It prints Yoda and then Vader into the next line. This statement, this, well, this operator, the backslash n operator, is known as the new line operator. So there are like 10 or 15 of these operators. There's one called the backslash t, which is the horizontal tab. So if I run the program, as you can plainly see, it prints the message, the second line, way further than that. It moves the text horizontally on the right side. So if I include it anywhere, absolutely anywhere, you can even include it over here. Okay, backslash t, yoda. So it would move it, as you can plainly see, it gives it a horizontal tab. If I type this slash t multiple times, it would give me multiple tabs. So if I run this, you will see that there are three tabs over here. So I can add as many slash t's as many slash n's. So these are two of them. I'm going to show you another one that I really like, which is the alert one. Slash a. Okay, it represented with a slash a. So whenever you run the program, I don't know if you can hear this, okay, it would produce a beep. So if I run it, it produces a beep every time it reaches over here. So this is an alert message. So if you're using a Windows XP, it will produce a different alert sound. Windows 7, it will produce a different alert sound. In Windows 8, again, different. So that is used to produce an alert message. It will produce an alert sound, not a message. Then there is the slash n question mark, which would basically display a question mark in between those. Now you may ask, can I directly include a question mark like this without a slash n? So the answer is yes. But the thing is, the slash n q is used for some other purposes, which you will learn in the future tutorial. So there are, let's say, more like 10 of these, which I will include in the description, all of them with their meanings. So you can go ahead and try them out. There are like backspace, there's the forward frame, new line, carriage return, horizontal tab, double quote, and the list goes on and on. So just go ahead and try it out. Like slash b moves it to the one slash. It's a backspace one, let's say. So it would erase the a from the Yoda and would the v instead and make it as one word. So basically, these are the backspace operators that you use to format your C out. Again, I will include in the description all of these uh, operators that you can do. These are all of them, right? They are not more than these. So I have mentioned all of them in the description. So go ahead and check them out and try all of these so you will understand the meaning of them. So anyway, this has been a channel of chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.